So, welcome to the next era of American Laser Games. I was really hoping that guy would fly through the A. <laughs> <laughs> so, Crime Patrol was advertised as the next great shooting game others will try to imitate. So we have gotten fully out of the uh, the shadow of Mad Dog McCree to create a new franchise, I guess? A new style of game? I feel like the Mad Dog is a little bit implied still, because it's like the next great one. Because the, obviously sure. the first great one, Mad Dog McCree. Sure. But it's like, you know, imitators beware, we've reinvented the wheel. <laughs> I feel like it doesn't make much sense to have um, a badge of somebody cowering, but I'm not a <laughs> cop, so I can't say. <laughs> yeah, hard to say. But so, um, Crime Patrol is sort of built into... Uh, levels of cop that you are, and each one comes with its own set of challenges uh, that we have to face and, like, situations that we're run into. I mean, to be honest, American Laser Games was right, because think of how many, like, gun games there are where you're a cop. <laughs> it's true. Like, you see, like, you know, your Area 51s and everything, like, everything kind of comes out of this idea. I mean, hell, there's the police training, uh, one, so. Yeah. Freeze, I'm pretty sure all of this is, like, 100% how <laughs> cops are supposed to take care of stuff. Yeah, especially the point w uh, where the cop is saying freeze, sucker, while pointing her gun down at the ground <laughs> while still holding it in front of her straight arms out. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I love this violent riot with, like, a 50s car? What is happening? <laughs> yeah. It's a fucking road show, man. The thing about every video game in the 90s was that every gang was the most multicultural gang you've ever seen, and they were also from the <laughs> 1950s. Mm -hmm. how, God, I how forgot about that. Is that a good death? <laughs> um, he slipped on a banana peel. <laughs> you shot him with rubber bullets. <laughs> Yeah, so each portion of this comes with, like, a partner that you have. We're at the silent alarm. We have this lady here. And as you can tell, she's a little, mm, trigger-happy. <laughs> I like that she has a catchphrase. Yeah. I will say she's probably the most, like, level-headed of all of them. I think this is really interesting, too, for American Laser Games, because, like... The technology this was built off of was used to train cops in, like, real-life situ situations. Oh, this thing will fry you! Like, the, the, the software they're using was literally built to do police training with FMV. <laughs> and it's come full circle, and now they're making a game out of it. Oh, wow, well, Chekhov's okay. electrical fence! Yeah, that's the thing. Before Crime Patrol, no cop knew to, like, take notice of high-voltage fences. They kept, like, walking into them and getting killed. But <laughs> Crime Patrol, you know, they helped out. Exactly, like, it's just teaching you life lessons. Like, even if you aren't in a situation like this, you don't want to do that. Like, if somebody says, don't shoot, I give up, they're probably going to pull out another gun and you need to shoot them right now. Mm -hmm. Right, you never take your gun off of anyone. Anyways, we did good as a rookie, now we're going undercover. Ah, oh, this is my favorite guy. Yeah, this is probably the most infamous partner. Rodriguez, she's inside. Let's eat their lunch. <laughs> 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 So, okay, Chirps, I gotta be honest, this guy is great, but I wish yes. they would go a little bit back to their previous hiring choices and make this guy be played by Gallagher. <laughs> <laughs> Let's eat their I lunch! <laughs> we'll smash this judge ring! <laughs> Do you only get 12 bullets for the whole mission, or...? No, you can reload, but only after you've gotten rid of all <laughs> the bullets! After him. Anyways, I think that's how you're supposed to get rid of drugs. You should be able to shoot the cocaine, that's fucked up. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know why I don't get to. He should have thrown it into the air and it's like the bottle tossing sequence. <laughs> <laughs> Great shot, try another one! Well, the thing about light gun games is they can only move forward with, like, human enemies, so there had to be, like, little gangsters, like, hidden in the cocaine to shoot. Ah, mm. <laughs> oh, that'd be cool. The cocaine bags grow little arms and legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and then they can kind of get, like, a little bit of the Dragon Slayer money, too, by being animated. Yeah. Mmm. Welcome to Undercover. Pick an assignment. I love that you start every mission by just shooting the ground. Yeah. <laughs> New IP number? The works. The works. Well, here's the works. You're under arrest for selling stolen property. She's a cop! <laughs> I like how quickly Undercover just goes to hell in all of these missions. I mean, like, that's the point of being undercover, is you get close enough, and then you just start murdering people. It's like doing stealth in Deus Ex. <laughs> it's not even that you right, get sure. close enough to murder them, it's you get close enough to tell them that you are a cop, then fumble with <laughs> pulling out a fucking candy wrapper from your jacket and then running away. <laughs> Because we have to kill them all. I didn't get to read what's uh, like written on his baseball cab, but I like to think it just says booty inspector or something. He looks like the kind of type. <laughs> oh, yeah. It says female toe inspector. Uh, actually, it says lunch inspector. <laughs> Where's your donut eating partner? <laughs> right there. <laughs> Sorry, it's against the law to get shot. Yeah, unfortunately. Oh, I just noticed, yeah, his hat has like a skull and crossbones on it, but it does say booty inspector. Yeah. Right, because he's a pirate. So, I gotta ask yeah. you guys. Would you like die for any of these crimes? Because they seem like they all be crimes where you go to jail for like two years. Uh, I mean, yeah, cocaine I don't pro know. Jesus. Cocaine probably a bit more. But, like, selling stolen cars, like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think- it's not that big of a crime, unless there's, like, drugs in the car. Welcome to Undercover. Pick an assignment. Also, I feel like it's possible to, like, play it off as, like, I was just a mechanic here or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, this is how you go undercover, is you order a Yoohoo at the bar at a strip club. With the straw already in it. Yeah. Well, he doesn't want to put it in himself. <laughs> so this wasn't what they used to train cops, right? Uh, no. Okay. I like to imagine the, the cop training program was basically, like, uh, dealing with uh, bladed weapons video. <laughs> but you get to shoot them with a gun mm -hmm. when you see them. So what kind of fucked up things happen in this club to where people are completely unfazed by this? Um, are you seeing her moves? Wait, is something else happening? I haven't yeah. been watching. Yeah, this is fucking art. <laughs> I was gonna say that, at the very least, you can tell that the dancers are professional. I don't know about everyone else in the bar, though. I'll take a rain check. <laughs> What's going on with him? What was he What's doing? What's a table dance? <laughs> I don't know what was supposed to be implied there, because... If he's watching one dance, I don't know why he's like, nah, not another one. I mean, he's clearly a regular. <laughs> he's watching a giant Yahoo do a dance. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> why was he so buckeyed? Was he having a panic attack from making too many Yahoos? Yeah, uh, it's too much sugar from all the chocolate milk. He's actually getting really excited because they were just refilling the tap of Yoohoo. Oh, yeah. And so he was, like, really excited about getting the fresh chocolate milk. I love the colorful <laughs> cast of characters here that all do crimes. I like that guy. Oh wow, this is like Breaking Bad. 
Yeah, it's just like it. Did they, like, <laughs> realize this was, like, too gruesome, so they just added a voice to it? I have no idea. I don't know if it was just, like, this guy's, like, overacting the bit, or if they're like, oh, actually, this is terrifying. Welcome to the team. Because you can't shoot him to stop that from happening or whatever. You just have to watch it happen. <laughs> I like that there's no longer, like, a police line. Now it's just bullets through it. Thank yeah. The voiceover just made me think it's like VJ Emmy on the microphone just doing bits over a movie completely <laughs> unprompted the entire time. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that was basically the fourth co-commentator. And by fourth, I mean fifth. <laughs> I can't count, yeah, okay? <laughs> hey, boot camp nowadays. The only thing I count is the number of bullets in my barrel. Let's go! I mean, I guess there were a lot of plants in the lobby, but I wouldn't call it a jungle. Whoa, that kid was like 15! <laughs> you know... Don't shoot me, I'm Union! <laughs> <laughs> Interns are crazy today. Buy that new car loan. It gets even worse when they're trying to leave the bank with oh, no, the gone. clones have shown up. I uh, shoot the money. Was this what you were after? <laughs> <laughs> and here, we're in biker country. I guess it's illegal to ride a hog in this universe. Yeah. That's actually what they're getting stopped for. It's just motorcycles aren't cool anymore. <laughs> I think it was unlocked. <laughs> Just gently tapping it. Also, appreciate that everyone else comes in with, like, a machine gun and doesn't do anything with it. Yeah, I'm actually not really sure what the crime is here. <laughs> I think we run into it, eventually. Uh, too many occupants. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just a fire hazard. They're loitering in this house. So why in every single location <laughs> is there a lady dressed up like she's an like an NPC in Final Fight? <laughs> well, that that's what's happening is they're kidnapping all the Final Fight NPCs. Uh, like I said, all gangs and video games are by nature multicultural, and one of those cultures is Final Fight. <laughs> yeah, one of the cultures is guy with a jacket and a mohawk. <laughs> Let's rock. And here's welcome to Delta Force. This is where we're taking on the big leagues. We're just gonna stay behind here, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Are you gonna put one of those uh, disclaimers at the beginning <laughs> of this video? God. Uh, you know one. One benefit is uh, they they don't say anything, which I think helps a lot. Yeah, I thought in the nineties we loved Islamic terrorists. <laughs> I like the guy just swinging at like Tarzan. Like this will work. <laughs> Look, you know, you got to try all kinds of things. Like you see the guy just run out into the open. Crime Doesn't patrol work for is him. dedicated to all the brave <laughs> Mujahideen fighters in Afghanistan. <laughs> <laughs> Also, did you see that guy do a second take about going over the rails of the stairs? <laughs> yeah, he couldn't get over the first time. He's like, oh, wait, no, I'm gonna fall on my ass on this one. Whoop! <laughs> uh, the in-flight <laughs> movie's really good. <laughs> Anyways, it's okay, because one white guy was also had a gun. I think that was Bill Gates. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Yeah, he went berserk after his divorce. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if I was in one of these high tension situations, I'd be the person who like just jumps in front of the cop with my arms up, saying, "Help!" <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa! Was that Mad Dog? That was Mad Dog. That was Mad Dog. <laughs> He's I'm oh commandeer in this plane. <laughs> I, I did know Mad Dog converted. <laughs> Mad Dog also came back from the dead. I think that's the- that's why he was back in Mad Dog 2, he's an immortal, he can't die. <laughs> I love when they just go back off camera. Yeah, I don't know why he opened the bathroom. <laughs> but you can still see them. 
Take a mission. Nuclear transport group. Advise of your presence. That's how they transport nuclear material. <laughs> Well, yeah, you gotta take it in a U-Haul, that's how nobody suspects it. <laughs> and who would've expected this van just sitting here wouldn't try to stop them? We're under attack. Bomb marker 25. Send help! Like, it's really trying to up the stakes, but also they're just all in, like, domestic SUVs. You think the cops would've, like, lent them something for this? Like, maybe a cop car? <laughs> right, you know, a, a, a detail. I guess we're the detail, but like, I don't know. <laughs> Something more. <laughs> Anyways, imagine having to sit here for the rest of this shot just like stuck in a tree, not being able to move. <laughs> yeah. Man's absolutely brave. Oh, oh he became one with not the tree. Brave enough. Or maybe uh, he took a he nap. Fell and, in. Yeah. <laughs> now let's the two of us get this stuff delivered. Unfortunately, there's no section where we're driving the car and have to shoot down people trying to steal the nuclear goods. Oh, that would be like a Lupin the sh Lupin the Third the shooting. That would have been cool. Yeah. We speak. The Delta Force members are arriving on the scene and are deploying. Anyways, this is um very clearly a pre 11 game uh -huh. by the fact that like all of these people exist and like. There's no security or anything, like, you don't have to go through TSA. It's very weird seeing airports just like this again. And, and that there wouldn't be just a major outrage at this actually existing in a video game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it would have been cool if, if instead of Let's Party, he said, remember, no Russian. <laughs> Even without <laughs> security, though. Know. Like, have you seen fucking airports? It's so hard to take them over, they're so big. Yeah. I feel like they picked a very small airport, which is surprising when, like, that a royalty comes through. I don't know what if they'd fly into, like, a podunk airport. I mean, like, to be fair, my airport in my town is probably smaller than this. Oh my god. How did the planes even land? They don't land inside. What the fuck? They actually just drop people off. What the fuck? situation is critical. Delta Force oh man, it would be so cool if, if for the last mission, like, all your mentors came together and was like, crap the rapper. Oh, that would be cool. And each of them was like, now you have to use everything we taught you. <laughs> Not that there was anything different from anyone else. You have to say all their catchphrases. <laughs> right. Let's kick some butt, eat some lunch, and rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, it's very sensible to be wearing all the snow camo inside of this nuclear reactor, but, I mean, at least they seem to get the hint about halfway through. Yeah, also, to be shooting bullets in a place that's just, like, radioactive and full of nuclear material. Seems oh. safe. Oh, no, that was Homer Simpson. <laughs> oh my god. He's the one keeping this all together while we fight. Marge is gonna be sobbing, she's gonna be like, Oh, homie! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Turns out they forgot to put the physics on the guns. They really did save some of the best stuff for last. A nice little touch. Yeah. In less than 60 seconds, we'll be in a helicopter! I don't know what that accent was supposed to be. Oh, you should have shot that guy. <laughs> no, not if he's holding plutonium. What if he drops it? Come on, you can do it. I won't be doing anything. <laughs> what I appreciate is you don't have to do anything for that. That's just a little something extra for you. Yeah, that's a treat. Quick, the tackle's escaping by helicopter. And now we have a face off against a helicopter. Oh my god. I mean, actually, you just wait for him to <laughs> jump out the door, and then this happens. Would you say this is the easiest American laser game? Um, I think so, honestly. Yeah, like, so far, we haven't had any of the, like, tiny, like, window slits that we've had in other games like this. Yeah, it doesn't throw a lot of bullshit at you. Like, this is, like, 
I think all things considered, like, a reasonably fair game. This one's a little tough, mostly just for the night vision shit. But, like, I'd say overall, this is, like, almost a fair video game. That's why uh, it's the next shooting game that everybody will be imitating. <laughs> right, they're like, what if we made a game that was fun and good? This is really the hardest part, is in the, uh, in the smoke and everything. Hasta la vista. <laughs> That's someone else's line. Excuse That'd you. That'd be so cool if your partner was dying and you just looked into their eye and said hasta la vista. <laughs> <laughs> As he bleeds out. Disdainfully even. Yeah. Like, wow, I can't believe you got shot when the room was full of smoke. <laughs> and that guy has a weird hitbox. Yeah. <laughs> He's like a weird smudge frame. <laughs> Yeah, I really like that the smoke grenade makes it even harder to tell, like, what's him and what's, like, the smudge. Whoa! I don't know what kind of bullets we had there, but damn. You just push the gun forward while you shoot, and that adds force to <laughs> right. it. <laughs> right, of course. I'm pretty sure that's in the movie Wanted. Yeah. <laughs> I think there were a lot of things in the movie Wanted. <laughs> Ironically, after I saw the movie, I wanted for not. That guy was actually just waking up. <laughs> well, Anyways, that's that's, it. that's the end of the case. All crime has been solved. That's right. <laughs> Man, the new Police Academy movie looks Man, great. They they, uh, they did not want to credit many people. They just yeah, no, uh -huh. uh, like they're just zooming past it. I like how there was just an entire credits line where. Everyone was just listed as gang member. Like what should have happened is just like all like the the bad guys come together and they do like a chorus line for the credits. Oh yeah, that would be cool. <laughs>